what's up everybody this is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to disconnect a Ford transmission line quick disconnect. The quick disconnect that I'm talking about in particular is the one that looks like this. Now Ford makes many different types of quick disconnects. This particular one is what this video is about. Now before you get into this you are going to need a special tool and it looks like this. Now you can get these in plastic and in metal. I would prefer that you get the metal ones because I've, I've actually owned some plastic ones before and they're good for about one or two uses and then after that they're not very good for this purpose. They chip and they break apart like you see here. Pretty simple. What you're going to do is you're going to remove the guard from this quick disconnect. Then you're going to insert your tool as shown here. You're going to press the tool down into the uh, quick dis disconnect pushing out the locking tangs. You're going to push the, the uh, quick disconnect towards the tool while you're pushing the tool down onto the quick disconnect. Then you're going to pull the two parts away from each other. And sometimes it helps to do a little bit of a twisting motion while you're doing that. Now that looked very simple and I know this can be a little bit of a pain in the butt and it's usually caused by dirt and debris getting down in that fitting. So before you attempt this, especially if your truck's a little bit dirty and you go mudding and stuff like that, or your car's a little bit dirty, take you some shop air and spray that fitting out real good and get any kind of dirt and debris out of there that you can before you attempt it. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, pretty cut and dry video here today. Very simple. Can be a pain in the butt, however, but usually it's not that bad. Like I said, I do recommend the metal quick disconnect tools because they seem to work better. I've disconnected a lot of these, uh, but sometimes you can get into a little bit of a fight with it. But don't be discouraged. Keep working at it. You should get it disconnected. Guys, please read the entire description down below before you attempt this or apply any of this knowledge. There's more very important information down there that you need to know before you try this. Also, if you're watching this video on a platform other than YouTube.com, you may need to go to YouTube.com forward slash Barber's Auto Help. Find this video there, and the description will be beneath it. That way you can access the description. So please read that, guys. As always, like and subscribe, and thank you again for watching.